So in the last video, we took a look at how to apply graphics to a destination and how you, then you can click the control panel button to open up this graphics control panel. I can open up this graphics control panel anytime uh, when my stream's about to start or hours before or day before uh, all to come in and work on the graphics. Doesn't I don't have to be planning to stream immediately to come in here and start building my playlist, which again is taking the elements from the composition, which is like the template you selected, and turning them into actual graphic elements you'll use in your show. So here's the basics of getting started with this interface. I won't see output video over here because I'm not streaming right now, but if I was streaming and I turn on Flash in my browser, which this interface will give you instructions on how to do if you need, I would see uh, output video over here. Right now, it's as if I'm editing it before my show started, so I'm just gonna get the um, elements prepared. Uh, the basics of starting a playlist are to come over here to the plus sign, and you see a list of all the possible elements, available elements in, uh, in the uh, composition that I chose. So I can choose from these to actually start adding them to the playlist. Uh, I think I wanna start with some full screen text as my slate, and then I'm gonna need a couple of lower thirds. You'll notice I can click in multiple times to add multiple ones. Uh, I'm gonna want an upper right one line up the whole time, and I'm gonna want my logo up the whole time. So that didn't disappear on each one I clicked. I had a quick way to add all of them to my playlist. Once I have them in my playlist, if I think to myself, well, I probably want these in different order, like I wanna make sure that the ones I'll have on all the time are at the top of my list, I can just drag these around. And then once I'm ready to edit each one of these, I can click on it and in the preview window, I see the preview. And in the page editor down here, I have the ability to actually edit information about it. So in my case, I'm near New York, my show's in New York. I'll change that over to New York, New York. Now that's ready to go. If I want it to be present in the stream from the very first frame when I start, then I click on play and I when I when every change I'm making here is being saved to the playlist right away. Now when next time I use that playlist, that'll already be taken or taken in and it'll appear on my stream. But if I didn't want it there, I would just take it out and then when the stream's actually going, interactively have this interface open and come in here and click take in for each one of the things I want to display at that moment. Each one of them will have different information I can edit uh, down here in the page editor. Some of them will let you select different graphics, like the logo. If I want to pick logo, uh, I can either copy and paste the URL here, or more likely I want to upload from my desktop, so I just click on the icon and I come here to the image browser, where one of the options is to upload uh, a new image to use there. Um, so each one of them, you know, take a browse through each of the different compositions, elements and see what you can do with it. This one is a good example. It's got the option whether or not I use the header uh, or not. And then again, uh, you know, the basics of the playlist are once I have them all here, while the show's going interactively, I can take them in and out and they'll appear in the live stream. There are some more sophisticated things you can do like automatically play them, uh, put them in a loop, things like that we'll cover in more advanced videos later, uh, but that really covers the basics. Oh, one more little bonus I didn't uh, show you yet. Uh, if I want, I'll, I'll consider this a basic rather than advanced. If I want to include a timer, that's in seconds. So five seconds now when I hit that, that will only appear for five seconds. And then it'll go away. That's it.